Bless up Electroculture family. Today we're going to go through a full installation of a CW1 Plus model antenna with the piezo arc and a crystal inline oscillator. Um, we're going to put this on a 25 foot sectional pole and I'm going to take you through all the steps from assembling the pole to connecting the antenna, installing the modular accessories and so forth so that I can help everyone get their stuff put together correctly and efficiently. Lots of love. Let's go. Okay, so right now we're going to assemble all the sectional pieces of the pole and I'm going to drill some strategic holes in the metal and it will become, it's to route the wire, it will become clear as I assemble everything what the holes are for, but they're strategically placed and then I'm going to connect these sections of the pole with some metal tapping, um, self-tapping tech screws. So we've strategically put some holes to feed our wire through. This is going to be the bottom toward the ground. This will connect to the ground wire. This is where we will splice in our inline oscillator. And then the wire is going internally through the center of the pole. And then on the opposite side, the wire exits about halfway up the last section here. And kind of get down there and see it a better but um and this is where it will come out and attach to our antenna and we're about to screw these sections together with the tech screws and then put the mass to mass mount on with the antenna Okay, so we've got the, um, the pole put together, screwed together, and the wire routed through all the holes and channels. And now we're going to attach the mass to mass mount first to the pole and then to the antenna. So we've got the mass to mass mount on the pole. Now we're going to install the piezo arc onto the antenna before we put the antenna in the mount. And it is easier if you have a little surface. You can just put the antenna down, slide the back plate over, and use the wing nuts to attach it. Then we can straighten it out.
put it exactly where we want it on the antenna. And just quickly tighten it down. Now that's installed on the antenna body. We'll clip this on when we get when we get it in the mount. Piezo arc is on the antenna. Now we're going to we have the pieces of rubber here to insulate against the mass to mass mount. We're going to slide it in here. We can hand tighten these at first just to get it roughly on there and then tighten it down with the ratchet. These from both directions. Okay, so we're gonna tighten this down and then we're gonna be ready to go put it up. Just slip this whole thing over that sleeve as a whole unit. So there's the stubbed out ground line and the base of the pole that we're going to use. So we're just aligning the brass rod to south before we start connecting all these final connections. connected into the ground line now. Now I'm going to come back to this piece that I left exposed here going through these channels and this is where I'm going to splice in my inline oscillator. So as you can see I've spliced these apart, cut them apart, picking off the insulation there for the couplers. And we're about to install this right in this gap here.
crystal oscillator is installed. CW1 plus antenna with the piezo arc. So I hope you find this helpful. That's how you install the antenna with the mass-to-mass -mass mount. That's how you put on the modular piezo arc accessory. That's how you install the inline crystal oscillator. There are certainly other ways to do it. This is just how I like to do it. As um, long as you stay within all the maxims, you're good to explore other alternatives. Um, again, hope you find this helpful. Much love and many blessings to you all. Your family you may notice I'm wearing our new Fertile Current shirts. If you'd like one, you'd like to represent, they're on the website now. Go check it out. It's got our little special message on the back. You have to go to the website and check it out, thefertilecurrent.com. Much love.